Hey guys, Joseph Kodamu here, and this is a trade stuff video. So, I am phasing out most of my non-version 2 GMs. Now, uh, first dibs goes to James Munoz, who has some strike and dual Gundams that I could use. So, I've got two GM version 1s. And I can swap out the numbers to be anything you, ne you need. I'll also have a Zaku 2 version 1 here soon. And these other figures are my GM 1.9s. My camera will cooperate. GM 1.9. Everything else is GM 1.9. It's a Gundam 1.5 or deluxe version arms and legs on the GM version 1 torso with the head and the beam saber hilt and it's got resin cast sh arm shields that come off because it's a 1.5 it's compatible this gives it a beefier look the arms don't fall off um, it works really great with the shoulders so they don't pop off the knees have been modded to look more GM-ish uh, the major thing though, is the torso joint. It has a ball-jointed torso, thanks to the strike. This was the hardest part of the figure to build. And so it makes a very nice and flexible figure, somewhat like the GM version 2. But not quite. So those of you who love the look of the GM version 1, but hate that its arms fall off and that it's almost impossible to keep in a good pose or do stop motion with. I think I'm the only guy that does stop motion with these, but whatever. Um, essentially, I designed this guy from the ground up for stop motion animation capabilities. But, I'm moving on to extended inversion 2s, more or less. And so, um, this army of GM 1.9s that you see before you needs a new home. There's also a variation I have one of like this. He's pretty cool. I like him. But I'll probably build a version 2 of him. So, you know. Anyways, I got, I think, 12 of these GM version 1.9s. And I have numbers 4 through 9. Some with duplicates, some with triplicates. So, yeah, numbers 4 through 9. If anybody just wants shoulders or a beam saber hilt, um... Let me know. I could just, you know, trade you parts for shoulders and hilts. Or, you know, if you uh, want a whole GM 1.9, let me know. Things I'm looking to trade for. Oh, yeah. I still have this guy. This custom recolored ground type GM. He's still here. Anyways, I prefer to trade stuff rather than sell stuff. When I, when I end up selling stuff, it usually ends up on eBay. So, I'm looking for real type Gundams for uh, version 2s, GM version 2s. I recognize that, you know, these guys are limited and I want to have these for trade, but that's what I'm going to use in animation. So, you know. Uh, GM or DOM version 2s, this one's being modded. Um, G3 extended MSA, which I've turned into a GM, Zaku 2 version 2. Any color or any variation almost. I think the only variation of it I don't want is Johnny Ryden's. Um, the extended Zaku, any version, Goof extended, Goof custom, uh, extended Gelgoogs I'm after, particularly Herbert von Kaspen. Um, things I need for my projects is Dual Gundam and Strike. Also Buster is important as well. Forgot to throw him in, in the mix. Uh, these have less value to me, but um, I, I will trade for them. And, of course, tanks. Everything that I'm collecting these days <coughs> is now for Gundam Father of Peace and for stop motion. Thus, you know, the upgrade to flexibility for stop motion animation. And as great as the 1.9 was, I spent 20 years trying to build a better GM version 1 that still looked like itself. And I did it. And then I did it in quantity. My wife is like, do you 
really? Should you be doing that to all of them? I was like, yes! Yes! You know, this is part of me that screamed yes. And now there's the part of me that goes, ah, oh, that might have not been my best move. But whatever. Whatever, I did it. And in terms of GM version 1, this is the best GM version 1 you'll ever own. Straight up. Way more articulation than the crappy knee limited movement that you have in here. Better than the arms that fall off. I was trying to put guns in this guy's arm hand the other day, and his arm fell off. I was like, oh yeah, GM version 1. That's exactly why I did this upgrade project. Plus, you know, you can uh, make Battle Scarred RX-78 parts compatible with this guy, and that's kind of fun. I forgot to note, I have alternate shoulders for this for some of these guys. Not all of them, but for some of them. They're a little bit big. They're not the same color. They're just resin-casted shoulders from the GM Kai. And, yeah. You can get a look at them. They're kind of ridiculously big, but kind of cool. I thought I'd just add them in on some of these figures. Well, let me know if you guys are interested in trading. You can leave me a comment, but the best way to reach me is my email. And there's my email down below in the more info area along with the list, quick list of the things I will trade for. And I look forward to trading with you guys. And then I'll have more figures that I need for Gun and Father of Peace, Episode 2, Part 3. Or, Episode 3. Episode 3, Part 1. Yeah. Alright, thanks guys.